You're going to meet a group of six youngsters from Northwestern Eving High School who stood outside in the bitter cold, not unlike tonight, in the wind and the dark and the rain, and they tell me they only had two flashlights and a ceramic light and a long extension cord as they painted a snow plow with their school logo, and they won first place for their efforts. Our next honorees, I told you about them at the beginning. These young people, they do something quite unusual. Most people don't know this happens. The snow plows that are used here in our school system, and boy, did they get a workout last winter. They are painted and decorated by our own students. Well, there's a contest. It's been going on for five years now. And I know one of the young people has been doing this all four years, and they paint these snow plows. There's a competition. They're judged on originality and their school spirit, color coordination. There's a high-powered panel that judges them, and every school that entered, all seven of them, gets a prize. Our first place winner, if they could come on up, the team from Northwestern High School. Where's the plow team from Northwestern High School? Here they come. Joining them on stage will be Mr. Walter Ware, whose idea this was, and he nurtures it and makes everybody do what they're supposed to do. Come on up to the stage, please. Northwestern High School, the first place winner in the snowplow competition. If you go online, you can see the design. It says, push hard, and there's a big picture of wildcats there. We're going to be looking for those plows this, this winter here with your guys' designs on. Thank you for all of your artistic talents and sharing them with us. The second place winner hails from Northwestern Evening High School. Are those folks here tonight? I hope so. Northwestern Evening High School. Mr. Woodyear, the art instructor, bring your plaques with you. Family members, come on up. I asked Mr. Woodyear, I said, what was it like? He's the guy that I told you about at the top of the show tonight. He was out there with the flashlights and the ceramic lights and the extension cords. Also, they discovered that the paint washed off. And every time they'd just get what they wanted outside, the rain would wash it away. So they had a real time of it. So you really deserve this recognition for braving the elements to try to show us all your artistic talents. Come on up. Northwestern Evening High School. And where's Mr. Woodyear? Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for sending that to me. We had a tie, a three-way tie for third place. The Bowie High School team under the direction of Danielle Ritthaler. Is Bowie here tonight? Tied with them for third place was Frederick Douglass High School. Sarah Marola, where, is, where are Sarah and her students? Come on up. And the th third place winner. The other tie was John Hansen French Immersion with Jennifer Berenger. If you folks are there in the audience, come on up and join us. Sarah Marola, who's from Frederick Douglass, tells me that DeJounte Walker is the student who came up with the idea for the painting. Uh, he's painted the last three plows, and this is his senior year, and he was determined to see his plow win. Where is DeJounte? Is he here? DeJounte, congratulations. Four years you've been doing this. You've gotten to be uh, quite accomplished.
Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here tonight. Our fourth place winner, this is their first time entering, just four students, and their school representative, Deborah Degg, says, boy, did they have a great time, even though it was cold and rainy. Croom Vocational High School, fourth place winner, where is Croom? Come on, guys. All four of you. And Spigs, Ms. Diggs tells me how very proud the school is of the Croom students. Here they come. Thank you all. And our final winner in the snowplow competition, the fifth place winner, hails from Fairmont Heights High School, Vaughn Johnson and his students. Are they here? Yes, they are. Here they come. I was looking at your design. Is it the Fairmont Heights High School Hornets? Is that the school mascot, the Hornets? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Johnson wrote to me, he said, we all felt so cold and the rain was an obstacle, but the main thing we were concerned about was getting the job done. We had to repaint multiple times because of the rain, but most of all, we're proud of the work we did. Most of the students constantly spilled paint on their clothes. I hope you all wore old clothes when you did that. Congratulations, guys. Fairmont Heights High School. 